Welcome back. Well, from lake algae to chocolate and yeah, grapes, chocolate. you know, there are so many things that pet parents need to watch out for that can be deadly to our dogs and cats. And here's another one to throw at you, heartworm disease. So joining us now is Dr. Thomas Makoviak. He's a veterinarian with Wellhaven Pet Health. He joins us live to tell us what causes this deadly condition. First of all, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me, Emily and Travis. Thank you. All right, so explain what heartworm disease is and exactly how pets like dogs and cats can get it. It is a pretty uh, sneaky and scary disease because it's transmitted by mosquitoes, which many of us don't pay really attention to, and it's transmitted by mosquitoes that actually live in our area. Uh, when the mosquito takes a blood meal, it injects a little parasite into the bloodstream of your pet. This little parasite uh, for six months travels to the body and finds in the end the pulmonary arteries and starts living there for up to five years. And it gets up to a foot long. And usually dogs have a bigger amount, so not only one, but several of those guys living in their hearts, causing a lot of symptoms and heavy heart disease. Oh, mm. gosh. I mean, it just sounds terrible. I mean, I know in, uh, you know, in adopting my dog, that was something that, you know, the shelters would tell you if, if a dog was heartworm positive or heartworm mm -hmm. negative, right? But are there some signs and, and symptoms to, to watch for? How do you know if, if an animal has it? Yes, yeah, so there's several things. One, it's good that the shelters test, but the test won't be positive until six months into the infection. Mm -hmm. So even if your pet for the shelter is negative, I would recommend to retest one more time at your bed in six months. Oh, wow, that's good to know. Um, Absolutely. And, and the symptoms you would see uh, usually starts with a cough, trouble running, getting out of breath, short, shortness of breath easily. If it's very advanced, you will even see a big, big belly distended full of fluid, which is all signs of, of congestive heart failure, which is what the parasite causes. Hmm. Boy, is this, uh, is this a common condition for, for dogs and cats? You know, we had in, it's not as common as in the South, but we had last year in Oregon over 500 cases confirmed in Washington State here, over 700 confirmed cases. And we believe that many um, actually not uh, reported, so it's probably way more than we think. So the really important thing is, yes, get your pet tested. And as long as your pet is negative, your dog is negative, discuss with a veterinarian how to prevent it. Uh, because a test only means we don't have disease now, but what to do in the future. There's lots of options, topicals, injectables, and even oral tablets once a month um, that you can give to prevent this disease from happening. Yeah, it sounds like prevention is certainly the way to yeah, go. Because no I've, I've heard from, from vets before that treatment for heartworm disease can be really difficult. It is difficult. I treated several, many over the years, and um, it takes months and months. It's very intense and harsh to your pet, and it's very costly. It's about $2,000 to treat. And, and sometimes treatment itself can be, I don't want to say fatal, but yes, it can have severe side effects. Absolutely. Wow. wow. Yeah, That's prevention is the best Pre way to go. No right. doubt about but it. Yeah. Test your pet, prevent, and be happy with your dog. Yeah, we get Sam gets a little little chewy every three months, you know, stick it in some cheese. He loves it. <laughs> and, that, and that's the prevention? That's yeah, the, with that's the, with his the prevention. That's great. One of his that's little great. pills, yep. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Dr. Makoviak, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us this morning. Really appreciate your time. It's, a, it's for a great cause. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. All right, again, that's Dr. Makoviak with Wellhaven. Now, if you uh, need some more pet health advice or want to schedule a checkup, Wellhaven has several clinics across the area. Our team's mm -hmm. going to post a link on coin.com. Yeah.